Okay, so the best is now even better. So recently, Kimpin has been updating his LM2 containers, like the T-Rex container for CPUs, as well as the uh, Tech9 Icon container for GPUs. Even though those containers were already very, very good in their current state, Kimpin has still been trying to push the envelope and trying to make them, well, as best as they could possibly ever be. And I managed to get the very latest version of the T-Rex CPU container with the 3090 Kimpin graphics card, as well as with the 10900K CPU from Intel. And I thought about doing a short video about the brand new design and I, well, I really just wanted to show you uh, what are the improvements and so on and how I prepare these pots for LN2 use. Or oh, well, nowadays my overall method is pretty much the same no matter what pot I'm preparing like CPU, GPU or memory pot. So uh, the main difference to the original retail version of the T-Rex container is in the internal design and now the uh, aluminium extension has been updated so that now so now the T-Rex pot is completely ready for the AM4 socket uh, out of the box so you don't have to buy the separate AM4 mounting plate anymore uh, to run to or to use the uh, container with AM4 motherboard, so that's a very very good thing. And the uh, overall size and dimensions are pretty much the same as uh, in the original one. Although the, this is not like uh, this is not a retail version of the original version of the T-Rex container. So this is like the very last sample of the original uh, retail version. So the only difference between this and the one you could find at the uh, on the actual webs, uh, website is that this doesn't have nickel plating that's pretty much it so uh, this one over here does have nickel plating and it weighs like uh, 100 grams more than this one over here and uh, if we look at the internal design very briefly I'll try to show you so you can I think you can notice that the large hole at the center is connected to the smaller holes on the edges where these gaps over here so uh, this one or well, this design should definitely help with the initial pull down as well as uh, near full pot temperatures when running uh, well any CPU at full pot temperatures when you need the maximum amount of surface area. The original design does have the same like structure so a very large hole at the center and all of these smaller holes but they aren't connected together. Uh, why, the, why those gaps? So uh, that's the main difference, really. So I think that should be very, very good. So uh, it will be very interesting to test the pot with the brand new 1000K very, very soon. So uh, let's prepare the container for LM2 use. So uh, what we have to do is that, is that we have to insulate the pot so that we don't get uh, too much like frost build up on the pot when it's very, very cold, as uh, some of that ice and snow could actually drop onto the motherboard and cause issues when it melts. So what we will have to do is that uh, we'll be insulating the container using uh, Armaflex or similar brand closed cell foam insulation tape like this one over here and we have to attach the uh, thermocouple probe to the uh, corresponding hole near the base of the container as well and we will be using a brand new Kimping cooling bind K-type thermocouple probe, which you can find on the website as well. So these are very, very good. These are very accurate. If you dip these uh, in LM2, they should read like minus 196 point something. It, it will depend a little bit on your actual meter, but the accuracy of these is very, very good. And they, these have a very good response time as well. So that's why I like them. You can't really use these uh, with memory containers or well you you cannot at least use these uh, uh, quite stiffy thermocouple probes in uh, memory heat sinks so for like memory heat sinks and for memory container i would uh, get or i would bin some of those uh, uh, more simple ones because they are much easier to bend and so on and much easier to attach to uh, smaller objects but for these uh, larger containers like CPU containers and graphics card containers, I would use these because these are very, very good. Now, uh, as with 
as what I already showed you, so uh, with the GPU containers as well as with the memory container now, I would use electrical tape or some similar tape as first layer on top of the uh, CPU bot's surface because uh, these uh, closed cell foam insulation tapes they really tear into pieces when you try to remove them. So just to make things easier for possible removal in the future it's, it's really wise to use like electrical tape or some other tape between the insulation tape and the pot's surface. So uh, if you want to remove the insulation uh, someday in the future it will come off easily when there's a layer of tape between the insulation and the pot's surface. So we will be doing that, so I will just do the things off camera and then we can take a brief look at the final results. So uh, those are the steps I will do. You can see a final result over here. So just the same steps as uh, with this one over here. So let's get going. Okay, and that's pretty much the end result. So the uh, T-Rex container base has been covered in electrical tape, probe has been attached and there's one layer of this 3 millimeters thick armor flex type insulation tape. So of course the uh, insulation isn't very thick but as the pot is already so huge there's actually there's not that much room to add that much more insulation so from here we will just add some paper towels around the pot and so on and I will also do the uh, extension as well so this is in this is still in the electrical tape phase so I just wanted to show you the initial step so you can see the entire surface is covered in electrical tape and we will just add the insulation tape on top so that's pretty much it so uh, if you are wondering which CPU pot to buy if you are let's say new to overclocking and like and especially extreme overclocking if you have some interest to try like uh, dry ice on LN2 then definitely check out the newest version of the Kimping Cooling T-Rex CPU container. There aren't that many pots out there on the market right now, so there aren't that many uh, options to choose from. So T-Rex is definitely one of the best, if not the best, options to go with. So thank you for checking out this short video about the newest update on the T-Rex CPU container. I hope you like to see the pot itself and stay tuned for some actual results. So thanks for watching.